So uh, once the screen starts up, we can see that we have about uh, 60 frames per second. Uh, the megabytes of storage used are 34, and the material changes are kind of varying all over the place, but usually hovering around the 30s to 40s. So that's not really, you know, great, and that's definitely slowing us down. You can see the frame rate's going to like 38, depending on how we face the camera. So over here we have less materials used, over there there's a lot more. We're getting up to 80, you know. Uh, almost 100 over there and I, in, in total I probably have about 20 materials in total use so the material changes per frame I think that measures something a little different than just how many raw materials are there but I guess I have the UI elements and then other stuff so uh, I'm not exactly sure what it does measure I just know that reducing that number will help our frame rate so that's what I'm gonna work on uh, along with reducing vertices um, on every object. Right now we have a ton and I gotta take that down to a lot less. So one thing to watch out for when you're in your dough and you're trying to optimize your scene, this is an easy thing to do, is I have some redundancies in my uh, materials. So these two pots seem to have the same material except one is referencing a file from the wizard's room. It's got the uh, generic metal.material from this folder here and the other one is on the outside. So that has a different file path, but you can see if I drag the one from the wizard's room into there, the draw calls, uh, the material changes actually goes down. So if you watch right there, I'll hit control Z to undo that, and then I'll pull back in the correct one, and you can see it goes down. So that will help reduce uh, material changes and save on FPS. So here is one culprit um, of my frame rate. We can see if I open up Godot, we got this pot here, and then there is another one somewhere. But this was a super high detail pot, and I went back into Blender, and I've edited it now. But uh, let's just decimate. So if I go to wireframe, you can see how many vertices this one has compared to this one. The one that's in the game engine looks like this. So I'll just have to bring it on down. And I really want to be about, you know, I don't even see, that should be fine, right? Yeah, I don't really give a shit. So after reducing the amount of materials I used and getting rid of redundant material referencing, I was able to get the uh, material changes down, and then I also reduced the amount of vertices in the scene by fixing some of the assets that I have. So we can see on the right I'm about uh, getting about 40 frames per second, where on the left I was getting about 30 or 35. And uh, I have about 674,648 less vertices in the scene thanks to getting rid of stupid objects I made. So uh, here's a demonstration of how I'm going to optimize things. So we have these books right here, and I have two different scenes of them. Uh, the first one, we can see, uh, this is kind of like a little joke I made, the many breeds of ogre. We got um, good old Sammy's face right on there. That's pretty funny to me. We also have this one, not without my Dakimura in alt-right manifesto. And then we got uh, good old Osama Bin Laden in full weave decor. So those are the books that I have, and I'm gonna do you know some other funny ones. I wanted to do uh, Nikki Six, and it just says "Boo hoo, I did heroin." I think that <laughs> that's gonna be a good one. And uh, so yeah, right now we are doing a lot of draw calls, and if we click on this, we have four separate materials that are going on right now, and so that's going to be. Uh, a lot more to render so we have that down there keep that in mind and then if I go over here I have taken all of uh, all these textures and put them all into one image down here and uh, so now I just use that as my material so they only have one material on them so you can see we got draw calls over here 14 and then if we go back over here draw calls 20 So, we do lose some, uh, we can't read the titles anymore, so, you know, and that's because I put them to a smaller image, but for right now, this is so far away, it doesn't really matter to me, and 
it still retains enough detail. So maybe you'll have to change that, but that's basically how you do it is you want to use as little, uh, you want to get rid of your materials. You only want one material. All right, so this is with all the changes I've made. Uh, you can see the frames are about getting, usually stay around 50. Uh, you know, they might drop in the 40s every now and again, but for the most part, they are staying around 50. So I can uh, go around. Um, made it just uh, a little bit brighter. So I think we still have a decent amount of detail on a lot of the stuff. Uh, the vertices are way down, um, like uh, like a hundred thousand down. And then this guy, I think I need to add a little more detail. He looked a lot better uh, before I started uh, decimating everything. But that's okay. We'll fix that. And um, the thing I like though is they're all all of it's mapped to uh, one material, so it's not using three materials like it used to be. And then uh, same with the ogre. The ogre is now using the same material as I am. I don't want to go too close to him because it will crash everything. But yeah, for the most part, we've got the material changes down. We've got uh, the amount of storage we're using for the scene, the megabytes up there. We got that way down. Um, yeah, and the FPS seems to be up. So I would say mission accomplished for now. Everything looks uh, a little bit a little bit shittier I'll be honest but um, I'd rather have a game that functions and then we'll start filling in that stuff now like that's just not a good texture at all so maybe I can make that texture a little bit bigger I think I only made it by like 1000 by 1000 so if I make it you know double that size uh, and then I make all the other textures to it that'll look better and I also need to figure out what direction I'm gonna go with this guy so I guess I got some things to figure out before I can keep uh, continuing on this project. Uh, thanks for watching. It's um, been fun. More, you know, disjointed uh, videos to come. We'll see what else I make.